It's Mike Les, and here is some corn picking action from Clinton, Illinois. I was driving down the road and seen this new idea uni system picking ear corn, so I stopped and talked to the guy. Got some video of this fine machine. This is a new idea 800 power unit, uni system power unit, with a 737 new idea husking bed and a new idea 844 four row corn head. I got here just in time as he was picking his last load of corn and the farmer told me he raises some beef cattle so he picks ear corn puts it in a corn crib once his corn crib is full he's done picking and then goes back to combining however he does like to uh, store corn in the corn crib and then he will grind it and feed it to his beef cattle herd. On average he said he puts about eight hours a year on this machine. The New Idea Uni systems were built in Coldwater Ohio at the New Idea plant which was later purchased by Agco, and now the new idea name is gone altogether. The Uni system is a machine of the past. However, in its day, it was quite a popular machine, as you could put this uh, corn picking unit on it, a forage harvester, a combine, there was other combos such as a snowblower, and other attachments. New idea actually started out in Maria Stein, Ohio, which is not very far from cold water, in 1899 building manure spreaders and was referred to as the New Idea Spreader Company. In 1912 they moved to Coldwater, Ohio. In 1945 New Idea was uh, bought out by Avco and become Avco New Idea, but the uni system itself was actually uh, built and started out by Minneapolis Moline Company. From what I've been told, when Minneapolis uh, Moline was building these, it was referred to as the Mule, a Mule, and then in 1963, Avco bought the rights or bought the patents to it, and in 1965, started building these in cold water, and come up with the name Unisystem. There's not a lot of information as far as getting facts on the New Idea Unisystem online that I can find. Uh, however, I do know some people that used to have these, and I was fortunate uh, right out of high school I worked at a dealer that sold quite a bit of uni systems, so I am somewhat familiar with it. However, I'm not real, you know, don't have a lot of information on build dates, model years, uh, when they were built, whatever. But this 800 unit here was powered by a 135 horsepower Perkins diesel engine. There are two farmers that live pretty close to my house that both run New Idea Uni Systems with a husking bed on it. However, I'm usually busy helping uh, farm at home and never get a chance to get out and videotape them. But uh, two years ago, I did have a video of the one neighbor out there picking corn with his. That was before I had uh, was able to get any drone footage of it. So this is my actual first uh, video of a New Idea Uni System with a husking bed and aerial footage. It was way too windy to be flying my... Uh, phantom out here today and I actually had an accident with it however I was able to uh, piece it back together straighten uh, out the one wing arm or prop arm and get it going again this field was right off US 51 just south of Clinton Illinois and the farmer here told me it's not too uncommon when he's out here picking every year to have people stop it along the road and taking pictures of it However, I guess I was the first guy to walk down to the field and actually talk to him and ask if I could videotape it. And I'm always happy to uh, bring this not-so-common farm equipment to my YouTube channel, something you normally uh, don't get to see every day, and uh, definitely enjoy filming it and making videos of it. And that's all I got of this machine. Like I said, uh, this was his last load of corn, so uh, maybe next year I can come back and catch this machine get a little more footage of it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope everybody enjoyed it.